During the 24 hours of innovation, we, the Frozen team, thought about an innovation solution that could significantly reduce the number of accidents. About 6,000 deaths due to accidents caused by extreme cold took place in a year. This innovation will be useful for all northern countries such as Canada. The system will allow drillers from very cold northern cities to travel safely on the road and pavement. In the first part, we will introduce a mechanism that allows pedestrians to walk safely. This mechanism will hit the sidewalk. It consists of piezoelectric slabs in which a capillary tube to circulate. It charges an accumulator. This allows supplying the urban lighting when needed. In the capillary tubes, a fluid expands heat from savage and is assisted by a heat pump. The heat will be spread on the pavement and melt the snow and ice. It could be used in other situations. We introduce an efficient and independent mechanism that clears snow from roads. The snowblower has a drill to pick up the snow and the ice which are on the ground and sent on a turbine to be stored in a huge tank. It uses a camera that will detect the element from the environment. It will have a GPS and move free in the city and know where are the disturbances. It will be composed of a biomethane engine with 35% of the energy supplied used in mechanical power to run the snow collecting system and 50% rejecting in heat who will be used to warm the snow in the tank. The spray device draws wood chips called top glitz by on the pavement and the road to avoid accidents. There's nothing else than the need to be spread three times a week. This system is made of several parts. A tank stores wood chips a veil closes the tank at the bottom. When wood chips starts to be discharged on the conveyor, this one conveys them to their launching position. A pipe blows wood chips to spread them on the ground. A metallic casing protects the system from impact. Other components are present in our system. There is one valve on each small tube and this. Optic proximity sensors are bolted aligned on the front part of the casing to avoid people or cars to be hurt by wood chips. A driving drum is used to drive the conveyor and compressor is used to bring the air and the pressure in the tube. 